Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use Google Keep. Now here's a little example right behind me. You can see I have Google Keep open. I have different things from lists to uh, pictures in here to sound recordings. Uh, there's so many different things that you can easily do with Google Keep to keep organized. And it's right there inside your Google Workspace. So let's get started with Google Keep today. In this tutorial today on Google Keep, I'm gonna start from my computer and show you how it works from there. Now then I wanna show you how it gets really powerful if you have the app installed on your phone because it works virtually the same, but then you can even do more things. So let's first of all start, where are you gonna find Google Keep? If you're logged into your Google Workspace account, you can access it a few different ways. You can go up to your app launcher right here and click on it. And I have my Google Keep right here. And remember, you can drag these around. If it was down here, you can drag it up if you're using a lot. And you can go ahead and click on this and it's gonna open up Google Keep. Google Keep. I'm going to, I'm using a demo account right now, so it's, everything's empty and I'll be adding uh, fresh notes to it in less in a moment. Now, the other way you can do it, you could just type in keep.google.com and you're going to get to it. But I also want to show you where it pops up in a few different places. So if I all of a sudden go over to Google Drive, notice that uh, on the uh, right hand side, uh, you're going to have this Google Keep icon and you can open it and you're going to get all the, everything's going to connect the notes that you take over there are going to be over here so you can quickly uh, look up a note that uh, that you that you took and just click on that the other thing even if you're in your gmail uh, here i'll just click on this one if i click on gmail you're going to see it right over on the side so it's great you have easy access to get to your notes that you're taking if you want to uh, just kind of quickly kind of go through these uh, to remember what you put down so let's start with how you can quickly create and edit notes and list inside google keep and it's as simple as just clicking up in here and then you can type hello and if I click off of it, I have my first note just like that. Now at any time, if I click back on this note, I can even add more. So maybe I wanted to, oh, I didn't add a title to this one. So I can go ahead and I'll just put begin and I can hit close again and you can see it makes the changes just like this. So if I wanted to add any more below it or change anything I wrote, I can go ahead and edit it very, very simply. Now, the other thing that's great for in working Google Keep is a simple list. So we have this check mark. If I wanted a list, I can click on it and maybe I'm going to go to the grocery store and need a few different items. Uh, I'll just put uh, buy dog food like so. And I can add another item. I'll put get gas and I could go so on and so on if I click off of it. And then when I am getting these things, I could be clicking on this and if I got gas, I click it off and it gets completed. So again, this works on your mobile device. You're, you can have these lists and you're just clicking uh, off and you have that nice list and shows how you're getting everything done. We also can do a quick uh, sketch or doodle inside these notes and that's what this is right here, new note with a drawing. So if I go ahead and click on this, I can just draw something really simply. I'll just do a face here. It's in green right now. You can change the colors to this. Right up here you can see we have the different uh, size of, uh, of, mar of markers that we have in here just by quickly changing color and everything. Pretty quick to do. And all the different things that you can, how you can add uh, things even to the background if it's going to help you draw to this. I just want to point out over here you do have the undo uh, and you can also export this as an image. So if you have your, if you drew something really nice and if you wanted it, you can export that as an image from here. All right, so let's say you get your drawing done, you can hit the back here and we can still add a title to this like this. And we can even add a note, you know, whatever you want it to be. I'll just put it's great and go ahead and close it and we have this here. Now the last type of note I just wanted to point out, you can quickly do a new note with an image like this 
and I'm gonna just click this one here and open it, it uploads from my computer and I have this note like this on your phone and what I'll show you, it's easy to snap that picture and it uploads right to Google Keep just like this. So we have these four simple types of notes that we can easily create with Google Keep. I also want to point out, you can go back at any time and edit more of these and add images to any of these. So even if I click on this one here, you can see I can quickly uh, add an image to this. I can go to this one uh, here, open it up. I can uncheck anything I've done to, and I can change the order of these like this if I want. So you can go back through. You can even have the quick access to the image. You don't have to open it to go ahead and add an image to any of these after in your list will still be there. So quick to edit. Now let's talk about how you can organize your uh, all these different notes and lists that you get inside Google Keep. Now you can go ahead and just drag these around. So if I click and hold, I can change the order just as simply as that, drag them and move them. Uh, one of the ways I probably, first way I keep things organized is just through a simple changing the color of the note. So of this one here, if I uh, use the change color, I can go here uh, just so it stands out a little bit more visually. Uh, if you know if you're using a certain color to be recognized as a certain thing, you can have those notes the same color. So it's quick to go back and change it to any color uh, also just like that. Uh, the other thing that you can do is to uh, label them. So you can see at any point if I uh, click in, I'm just going to open this one up here again. Uh, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna add a label to this. So if I go ahead, add label, and I'll just call this pet, and I'll create pet because I don't have any label. So on the side already, it's created a label here. So as soon as I just click on this one, I'm only gonna get the notes that are labeled with that. So that can save you time because you can get a lot of different notes. So if you go ahead and add these labels, then uh, you can uh, quickly find the ones that you're looking for. So if I go back to notes, I see everything. Uh, another quick way is to pin your note. So if this right here is an important one, if I pin it, notice it goes right up to the top. So if it's something new you're working on, uh, you can go ahead, pin it, and you can unpin it if you don't need it at the top. So that's a quick way to keep important ones uh, just easily uh, visually uh, there, especially as you get a lot of different ones. You can delete these notes very easily. So if I go to this one right here, I click these three dots where it says more, you can see I have delete note here. I just want to point out there is also archive. Archive doesn't delete the note. So maybe you get a lot of different notes in here and you don't need a certain note, but you don't necessarily want to delete it. You can go ahead and archive it. Now notice that over on the side, we have archive and we can go ahead and unarchive any of these really simply by clicking right here where it says unarchive like that and it will go back into your notes. I forgot to mention, just like archive, you can undo things from the trash. So anything you delete, check out the trash and if you hover over, you'll see that there's restore and you can delete forever also, but if you click restore, it will go back to your notes up top. Now, another thing I like to do inside Google Keep is share the notes or drawings with other people or list, especially. Uh, let's say you have a list and you want to share with a family member uh, so that they can be clicking off on different things that they do and you can check what they have done. So just like this, notice that there is where it says collaborator. If I go ahead and check that right there, I can add somebody. So if I just type uh, in somebody, I could type their whole email, but I knew that one would pop up. So if I hit save, I, I'm gonna go ahead and hit close. And I can add more than one person collaborator. I'm just showing you as one in this example, but I can see this one has a label. I can delete that label very quickly if I want. And this is also shared with somebody. So if they go to their Google Keep, they'll see it uh, right there. So take advantage of sharing your notes with other people, especially with those lists and everything. Now, I wanna point out uh, with these more buttons, so whenever you see those three vertical dots like that, I'm gonna click on more. Uh, notice that we have copy to docs. I can take any of these notes and go right to Google Docs. So if I click on it like this, it's copying over to Google Docs. So what I'm gonna do is open up Google Docs here, 
here and then you'll see I have that. So it copied it, called it Google Keep document and it's right here. So I can go ahead and open it and it copied it over. Now, the other thing you can do is right from here, if I go to Keep and open it up, just like I showed you in Drive and Gmail earlier, any of these notes, I can just click the menu here and I can add to document. And now uh, it's right here. So that note got put over here. I can also, in Google uh, Docs, I can drag things over and drop them like that. So any of these notes, so maybe you're researching something and you wanna put it over to Google Docs, you can do it very quickly. The other thing uh, you can do is, I'm gonna go over to Google Slides. You can do the exact same thing. So maybe you took pictures to keep things organized and have notes. Uh, you get your Google Keep here and just hover over any of the notes and then with the more add to slide and we can add those to the slide so everything's connected inside your google workspace and all those notes you're taking can be going anywhere uh, anywhere of all the different google apps I just want to bring your attention to the very top here beside the, the app launcher uh, to point out to refresh. If something hasn't come up yet, you can refresh your screen just by clicking on that. Uh, we can change our view. So if we want it from a list view uh, to this view, to the grid view, just by back and forth and the settings. So maybe you want to enable the dark theme, like which I started with. Uh, you can quickly turn that on and off right through here. I do want to point out that uh, these settings here too, with uh, where you can customize yourself, your notes and list. Take a look at the different uh, ones that you can uh, go through and click from sharing to the reminder defaults for times on it. I just want to show you a couple more features, cool features here before I just open my phone up and show you a couple extra things you can do on your phone. And that is, so I just took this picture from my phone using Google Keep and it went instantly into here. I wanted to point out um, any of these things like remind me. Uh, I'm going to click on this. So you can have a note remind you. So if I say, oh, later today, tomorrow, next week, I can pick a day or time. So then that note, you'll get a reminder from that note. So that could be an important thing. Uh, you take those notes that if you're like me, I forgot I wrote it for some reason. You can have that reminder. The other cool thing is, and this works really good on your phone, uh, pick a place. Because if you pick a place, if you have your phone with you and Google keeps open and you go to that place, if I'm going to that city, as soon as I get to that city, and it knows through GPS, it will remind me. So maybe you have a note that is uh, choosing a place that when you get there, you gotta make sure that uh, you remember that note. So that's some cool features. The other thing I wanted to point out is uh, just right here, and this is grab image from the text. So I just took a picture of this uh, of this letter here. And if I go ahead and click on it, notice that it, uh, it took the words from it, if I look uh, down right from here, uh, it, so through OCR, it grabbed the image, the text out of here and turned it here. And now I could still copy to docs from there. So even though it started from a picture. All right, I'm gonna just open my phone to finish up this tutorial here today to sh show you the last few things of Google Keep. So I have my phone open here and I have Google Keep already installed on it. You can see it beside Google Drive here and I'm on an iPhone, but if you're on uh, Android, that's fine too. You can go ahead and install the app. I'm gonna open up Google Keep here and I just wanna point out you need to be logged in to the same account and you can see the same images. I'm logged into my demo account on Google Keep. Uh, and now what I wanna do is just point out you can do all the exact same things that I showed you. I could hit that down below. You can see at the very bottom, I could take those quick notes, withdraw or checklist. Um, and then I could hit the plus and I could take a note very quickly that way too. But where I really like using this is if you go ahead and we'll just start with an image and I'll take the same image that I just showed before. I'm gonna hit take photo. I could choose image from my camera roll that I've taken images, but if I take photo and I'll hover over the same uh, image real quickly here and just to give it an example, I can use the photo just like that. I can give it a title. I'll call this OCR again, just like that. And I'll hit back. And if you look towards the back of the screen on my on the computer, you can see it's updating already and in a second. So once that image gets uploaded, uh, it's there just like that. The other thing I just want to point out that's cool on uh, on your mobile device, if you hit the, you notice that the, you have the little mic, you can take audio notes. So if I go ahead and click this, 
I'm taking a quick audio note right now. And now, so I, all I have to do is stop talking, give the pause, and I can go ahead and play it again if I want, or give it a note, uh, give it a title. So I'll just say, uh, I'm gonna call this, uh, well, I'll say voicemail. And then I'll just go back and you can see on the computer already that I have that voicemail quick audio note right now. So those are some extra things on your phone uh, to point out that you can do very easily. Uh, but other than that, you can work on your mobile, mobile, mobile device just like you do on your computer. So I hope you liked this tutorial, this walkthrough of how to use Google Keep today on Teachers Tech. Let me know what you think. Uh, I do have other productivity tools like OneNote and everything on my channel and that you can use for free too. You can check that out too. But Google Google Keep is a simple, uh, easy solution, especially if you're using the Google Workspace. Uh, thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.